Okay, so today we're going to do something fun. We're going to compare pre-mix Electro Nectar by KT to pure water mixed with sugar, which is what most people normally feed their hummingbirds. And we're going to see if there's a preference. We're going to use a quarter cup of table sugar, which is pure cane sugar, with pure water. And this is the label of the Electro Nectar by KT again. The ingredients are pretty standard. There is a preservative in it, although after you open it, you do have to put this in the refrigerator. They want you to shake it up. There's the guaranteed analysis right there, 80% moisture, which of course could be water. Potassium is 0.035%, sodium, which is basically salt. The minimum is 0.004 and the max is 0.02%. Now we're going to use two aspects incorporated uh, Hummingbird feeders here. There are suction cup pieces that stick to your windows. I like to put them up there first before I fill them. We're using uh, one cup of pure filtered water here. And again, the KT label here that comes over the bottle says, why not red? Well, I guess the hummingbirds find the red uh, based on the feeder. Since our feeders have been in place for a long time anyway, they're going to find it just fine. This is pre-mixed, as I mentioned before, 64 fluid ounces. I got this on Amazon, and I'll provide a link below for those who want to check these out. Now, once the trays are in for these uh, two hummingbird feeders, they are 8-ounce window-mounted feeders. I like to pour it in after they're stuck to the window, and also you can make sure they're leveled up, and we'll just close them here. Each of them has three drinking ports. And again, we're going to look at these to see if the hummingbirds can show a preference. And I did put a label on the one on the left there, and we'll see it from inside the house. There it is, Electro Nectar, labeled down low. And here it is, a male ruby-throated hummingbird feeding at it. And they like to try the different uh, ports there. They're at the same height. They're underneath the overhang of the house. So they're out of the rain and so forth. And we're just going to watch them here for a couple of days. And I'm going to find out uh, what they go to. Here we have one at the uh, normal mixed sugar water, which is what most people use. They like to boil the water and make sure there's nothing in it that can harm the hummingbirds. You also need to rotate this out uh, every few days to make sure that it doesn't develop bacteria. It is a high fructose. It is a high sugar content liquid. So let's keep it clean for these uh, hummingbirds. And this, is, of course, is a male ruby-throated hummingbird, and he is on the one that has the uh, KT premix in it. Electro nectar, whether the birds know by taste um, if they have nutritional needs that are not being met by the regular sugar water. I don't know. Uh, primarily the sugar water for hummingbirds is an energy source, just as it is for um, honeybees. Uh, they consume a lot of energy as they fly around. They also eat a bunch of bugs. So they did start to come to the Electro Nectar by KT there, uh, maybe two to one, although it's not uh, a dramatic difference. They come to the sugar water. And then I thought, you know, let's toss another feeder in here. And so we've got, again, another Aspects Incorporated 12-ounce size feeder with four drinking stations. And it's got that little moat in the middle there if you have problems with ants coming down. And it has a uh, brass hanging hook here. And again, it will hold 12 ounces. We'll go over that. And in case you don't know what to mix it up with, it's already embossed on the bottom here. Hummingbird nectar, one part table sugar, four parts water. And this is the company that designs and makes it. Although, I've seen this design being sold by other companies. And it maxes out here at 12 ounces. So it has a good capacity. Remember, the other two feeders that are stuck on the window are only 8 ounce feeders. And there it is hanging and we get a male ruby-throated hummingbird right away coming to it. And uh, I thought it would be interesting to see um, when we have all three of the feeders up, if they uh, notice a difference in the liquid that's inside. So let's check that out. And here they are, all three hanging together. And the one, of course, that's labeled lower right is the Electro Nectar. And what we found is that the hummingbirds did come to the one that was hanging from the overhang of the house there, and they would start there, but then they would skip over and go to the Electro Nectar by KT. So they are showing, you know, a slight preference for that. And uh, again, this was just an observation that occurred over a couple of days. So I would say, of course, they're going to go after all the different, whether it's sugar water that you've mixed, 
or whether it's the Electro Nectar by KT again that uh, has the electrolytes in it. I don't know if they know the difference, but they did often start at the hanging feeder and then jumped, as this one will, right onto the window mounted Electro Nectar filled feeder. And they started to ignore the other window mounted feeder that only had sugar water in it. So I would say the hummingbirds showed a preference. What do you think? Thanks for watching. Look for links to the feeders and the nectar down below.